Those are some chunky puke noises. Blurg. I should get this fixed. Maybe there's a doctor out there somewhere. New quest. Contaminated. Okay, so the puke ability isn't just an ability. It's also part of my affliction, probably. Which probably implies that my character's always nauseous. Nice and cozy. A bit dirty. Am I gonna sleep on that? No, there's a dude. Or a woman. No, I can't smash that. There's meat. Okay, that's our s s giant squid octopus thing. Let's talk. Hey, who are you? What are you doing here? Could ask you the same. I live here and guard the flesh kraken. Now what are you doing here? I came from back there, the facility. I feel like there's still a lot more stuff I could have explored at the facility. You came through the door? That's working? Apparently. You know about the machines down there? No, didn't know there were any. Will, will you hurt me? No. Phew, I'm glad. I won't hurt you either. I just care for the flesh kraken. <laughs> yeah, tell me about the flesh kraken. I'd like to know about your flesh kraken. Empathy, zero out of two. Oh, interesting. So, there is another option here. I don't even know what the option is, though, because my empathy is too low. About your flesh kraken. It's not mine. Look, you can talk to him if you want. He's a bit moody these days. Okay, well, let's talk to the flesh kraken. Fuck. Rumble. So that's a lot of flesh. Flesh. Lot. Living. What do you eat? Living. Small. Big. Humans too? Living. I see. What kind of animal are you? Animal? You know, not human. Human. That's me, human. What are you, though? Animal? Human? Eh, uh, okay. I guess that could fit. So what do you do all day? Pondering. About what? Life? Eternity? Dot dot dot. Hmm? What else could there be? Friendship? Society? Amusement? Interesting. That's an interesting take. I kind of thought this was go more like infinite void type stuff. What the hell? You have friends? Friends. You. Alright. Friend. Search friends. You want more? Search friends. This is this is the thing gonna ask us to gather up a bunch of people to come here. Alright, I can do that. Probably won't be easy though, considering your circumstances. It's not even really clear if it's, like, immobilized here, or what? Yeah, I should probably not just be, like, waving around my cudgel all the time. Can I sleep in the bed now? Get health back? No, I cannot. 
You can stay here if you want. I don't mind. The Kraken needs friends. You think? I mean, he's stuck here. I suppose he might like to have someone to talk to other than me. He can't get out? No, and I don't know why they got him here in the... Fr I don't know how they got him here there in the first place. I just... I just came... I just take care of him. Yeah, it's just so... This person knows more than they're letting on. Do you know of any... Of other beings that are similar to him? I heard rumors about an eye as big as a house and mountains of flesh, but I don't know where they are. Maybe you could ask around Taurus. It's to the east of here. Can I sleep in this bed now? Oh, okay. can save the game manually when not in combat. Oh, nice. Save. <laughs> I'm gonna do that now. Memorized location. Oh, cool. Save A, autosave. Oh, okay. Memorized. I wonder if this is a teleport thing in it. Ooh, that killed it. Okay, maybe I won't kill random things. What is this? Looks like the flesh kraken. Okay, so it's like just a picture of the flesh kraken. Okay, interesting. For some reason, I thought that was a lot more threatening than it actually was. Okay, that's a path there. Look around here a bit more. Nothing. What is this? This doesn't look useful. Can't have enough of these. What even is this? Mechanics. Alright, so I have to mouse. Mouse over and click things to pick them up. If, I don't know, for some reason it feels like the sort of game where it's like you just walk close enough to things and you have to press a button to pick everything up around you. Kind of like in like Factorio, when you're just running around. You can just, just scoop everything up around you. With the F key. Select equipment. Oh, interesting. So I can switch out this meat for... Okay, so meat is equipped. Now health is equipped, even though I don't have any. Citizenship... Oh, okay, I never read this, actually. Citizen, we are sad to inform you that you are unfit to continue living among us. Effective immediately, your citizenship has been revoked. You have been released to the surface world to continue your life separate from our universal society. <laughs> wow, okay, so you've been rejected from what they refer to as the universal society. Which basically means you're out there. You're like not even considered on the the out like on the outs. You're considered like non-existent basically. Please follow the regulations of the free world. One. Do not, under any circumstance, enter a settlement of the Universal Society. 2. Do not reproduce. If you break any of these rules, you will be terminated. If you need advice on how to live your life on the surface, please ask an integration assistant for more info. We wish you a happy life outside of our society. <laughs> wow. Okay. Do we even want to memorize this? What happens if you decide not to memorize something? Whatever. Zircon. Ooh. And a body. Citizenship revoked. Aventurine can be sold to merchants. 
Is that going to be the same thing? I wonder. Nets. Appears to be the same rules. I'm going to just choose not to memorize it. Wait. Oh, I don't even have the drop. Can I drop it? Okay, I can drop it that way. It's all trash anyway. be wrong, but I feel like choosing not to memorize a note might change the way your character develops, or might change some plot point in the future. That guy does not look friendly. Pretty sure that's what I put skill points into. Sharp 13. Okay. Oh, I see how it works. So fire resistance, energy resistance, biological resistance, mental resistance. Interesting. Melee sharp. Rifles. Okay. I see how that works. Okay, so having sharp and projectile resistance increases with your skills in that. That is also good to know. Plastic trash. Smashing these little cans hasn't produced anything of value yet. But I'm probably going to continue doing it because it's actually kind of satisfying. That's a thing. And that's a dude. Scout commands. Oh, interesting. Knowledge fragments. Entangled wisdom, thoughts, structured and broken. If, so you just pick up experience points as a physical object, it seems like. Scout commands. Travel west past the Festering Gorge and look out for any signs of the big ones. Report back if you find one. Don't approach it. Be careful. The mutants seem to be very aggressive lately. Something's riling them up and it's probably going to get worse. <laughs> Signed, The Eye. Let's learn that because that might be useful information. Do we want to use this knowledge? Oh, okay. You just click it and then you use it. Okay, good to know. So we got 50 experience. We need 300 for our first level. So we got a little ways to go. What is this? It's another teleport. Memorized location. X and finger. smash that. Animalism. Okay, so you can just use animalism on. When I saw animalism as a skill, I kind of figured it was like, you know, deer and dogs and stuff like that. Not just like flesh slugs. Whatever you want to call those. Okay, I hear a bad guy nearby. 
I mean, maybe in this world, bad guy is a relative term. Now, if I shoot just one of them, will both of them come? Uh, I think that drew both of them. Oh, is he going to attack me now? Yeah, he is too. Shit. Okay. That's good to know. I only drew aggro on one of them. Ah. Oof. Okay. I didn't try hard enough to avoid that. Okay. I reloaded to my previous save point. So that was an autosave. So when you die, you just die. Don't need this anymore. Just speed run this a little bit here. Select equipment. Yeah, I didn't actually do anything to change that. I see. There's a little bit of an accuracy thing going on here, too. So your character doesn't aim directly at your mouse. The sun takes another. Oh, wait. Trash and meat. Meat and trash. Still haven't picked up any death. Well, I guess maybe that's not true anymore. And use you useless trash. Okay, so that's one path I could go. This guy has this stuff. I'm just gonna memorize this quick and consume the experience. Memorize location. Hex and finger. There's a dude here. A naked dude. I was just coming up here to see if there's anything I might have missed, but... There's this dude I missed. Hey, old man. Haha, ah, look at you. Wearing clothes. So serious and all. You having a good day? The best. Here, look at my dancing skills. <laughs> It's how I celebrate the sun. Now off you go. Maybe you're interested in a big meaty friend? Oh, you mean that big flesh monster in that temple over there? Nah, not interested in any relationship with it. Okay, that's fine. There's probably more stuff I could say to him, but I'll leave him be for now. Chances are I'll be returning to him. Okay, there's that and that. There's these jokers up here. Yeah, that just egg rid one of them. Oh, goddammit. Oof. Forgot that I have a dodge ability. <laughs> uh, okay. Da, da, da. And drop the citizenship revoked papers. It's not like I'm trying to do everything exactly the same as before, but I feel like I like everything that I did the first time around, so I'm just repeating that. Having, having, like, no health kind of sucks. 
if it can't take can't tank at least one hit. All right. But I kind of feel like I need to do at least some fighting just to get experience. I don't know why I'm doing worse than I was before now, but. There we go. That's organs, trash. The, was that organs before or was it meat? Why is this plus 20 health for organs? Can I eat organs? I probably can. I'm not sure if I should, but I mean, it's a thing. Maybe that's what the veganism thing is about. Alright, so citizenship revoked, citizenship revoked. Skill commands, learn. And you know what? Okay, yeah, it just straight up heals you. Good to know. Just chomping on viscera. Alright, memorize the location. I don't think we really got anything out of talking to the old man. Let's do it again. I mean, clothes are very practical. Uh, like I said, serious. Here, look at my dancing skills. It's how I celebrate the sun. Now off you go. Maybe you're interested in a big meaty friend? Oh, you mean that big flesh monster in that temple over there? Nah, not interested in any relationship with it. Doesn't really need to read that all out, but whatever. I wanted to see if it was any different if I chose a slightly different dialogue option. Got some meat. Got some meat. I have... okay. Oh, that aggroed both of them. That's weird. Okay, I don't have bullet penetration. It's good to know. There we go. We're doing it. That was kind of a risky last move, but just wanted to save a little bit of ammo. Brains. Brains is a resource. It is not it's not an item I can eat, which is good to know. What's this? Household wares. Can't have enough of these. Okay, yeah. I'm getting used to the, like, the attack hitboxes and stuff. I wasn't sure what to think of it at first, but I think I'm starting to get the feel for it. I wonder if there's a way to just disable the clicking. Uh... User interface, UI scale, small. We'll leave it small for now. It may be better for the stream if it's large, but I'm gonna keep it small just so just so it's easier on me. <laughs> I'll be honest. Player health bar, show number. It's good to know. I'll leave that the way it is. Input, mouse input in combat, automatic, hybrid, no point and click. Okay, yeah. I like that. Roll towards mouse cursor. No, because sometimes I'll be po wanting to point one way and then roll backwards. Mouse cursor, window lock. Oh, uh, that's fine. 
it's kind of already locked for me, so. Map, toggle, hold pressed. Leave it hold pressed, I like that idea. Highlight all objects, hold pressed, toggle, always. I'll, I prefer hold pressed for that one too. Controller. Bindings, co-op. Do a quick save. Why not? And actually, there's a spot down here I didn't fully explore. I'm pretty sure it's a nothing, though. Oh. Okay, E. E will pick things up. Good to know. I was going to say. That, that actually is better. Pressing E to pick things up. That was probably also the case before. I just didn't... That E might... It might have been that E was not one of the keys I tried. Alright, I guess this is our overworld. Kraken Temple, Festering Gorge. How much of the world can we see? Steel Waste, Red Sea, Sun Lens. Wound Land. The Perished One. Is there more I can see over at the edges? No, I think that's it. I love the creepy noises for this game, too. Alright. We'll go here. Festering Gorge. I just get experience for visiting a new location. Good to know. Hmm. No. Keep wanting to try it. Even though it doesn't always make sense to. Oh. I don't want to do that. Shock! I wonder what that means. That's an implant, maybe? Is he beyond my range? No, he is not. Wow! He went down much easier than the other enemies. Shock. Body. Active ability, directional attack with energy damage. Quit. Okay. So how do I use it? Select with C. Select shock with C. Okay, so I have to choose between puke and that. Good to know. I don't think puke is going to be a great ability to have, you know, in the heat of the moment type combat. There's a lot of flesh over there. Use shock with F. Okay. Was that a four second cooldown? Yeah. Am I just wasting all of it? Is this... Okay. I'm gonna save at least one. Because I see those four little pips, and now I'm down to just one of them. So I have the feeling that I only... I can only use this one more time, and then this item is done. Which probably means, you know, they might not be too hard to come by. Gosh. I haven't actually found a use for any of my resources yet, but I'm still pretty early in the game. That guy looks a little different. Is he a friend, or is he an enemy? I'm going to assume he's an enemy, because he doesn't highlight when I press control. Oh, well. I saved it right when I aggroed him, so... 
Whoa. Okay, he's... He explodes when you kill him. Good to know. Maybe now I'll quick save again, just because. Just so I don't have to reload. Just so I don't, like, get an unexpected reload and then just die to him in an embarrassing way. Okay, stream's looking good. I was having some connection issues earlier, earlier but it seems to be good now. There's some Zircon. Not sure what that's used for yet. Oh, you got little bloody footprints when you walk through those blood puddles. Chasing me right into another group. Uh, I'm running out of ammo too. I need a better weapon. Fuck. He says fuck yes as he kills me. Oh, and then it immediately starts looting my body. Interesting. I like that. I like that. Enemies have little things to do after they kill you. That's actually a really cool detail. Not enough games do that sort of thing. A lot of other games, they'll just, like, have enemies continue shooting your corpse or go back to their normal routine after they've been de -aggroed. So, kind of got myself caught in a trap by... I thought this place was already cleared, but it wasn't. So maybe we'll go here first. There's two guys there. So I, I led two guys to, like, do a self-pincer attack on me. I, like, ambushed myself with that. Oh, I've only got nine bullets left. That's not good. We just avoid fighting. I have a lot of experience to get before I get my first level up. Get some, do a little bit of scavenging. That might be useful for when I see a town. I'm hoping this is a actual like a town with a store or something I can go to. If that even. If that even exists in this game, it might not exist. I'm hoping for at least some way to get a better weapon without, you know, having to kill someone for it. Because then they'll be using that better weapon against me while I'm trying to kill them. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's nothing. Annex. Nice. Oh, there's a flesh tendril there. Oh, and that is... Wait, is that where it came from? No, it's not. Is this, now, is that going to be a town, or is that going to be a dungeon where I fight a bunch more monsters like him? Got him. Oh, 
bullets. Ah! and then just move on to the next area. Yeah. We'll do that. Now this... Does this take some... I'll have to find out if this takes me to the world map or it takes me to, like, another screen. Let's find out. No, it takes me to the world map. Okay. So that tunnel I saw before, I probably actually have to go in there. Oh, you can't walk past this tendril, this meaty tendril thing here. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. This is probably not a town. <laughs> not a friendly sort of town, at least, anyway. Have enough of those brains. I feel vaguely threatened by this large pool of blood. Okay, nothing. Thought maybe something was gonna come out of the blood at me. Oh. That guy looks like an enemy. Oh. Oh, he has a good gun. Maybe I could try to stealth around him. Don't really want to, though. I want to, like, get what he has. There we go. Mechanics, bullets, gold. Small pistol. Wow. Okay. So rifle bullets and bullets are different types of ammo. Crafting knowledge. Usable parts. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got. This book contains the blueprints, blueprint for something. Something called a blip, as well as very detailed instructions on how to read and use blueprints in general. Memorizing the contents of this book will allow you to learn and use new crafting recipes and give you the understanding necessary to be able to deconstruct items, excuse me, into salvageable and reusable parts. Okay. Crafting. Knowledge fake. Usable parts can be deconstructed to wield yield resources. Nice. Can we sold? Yeah, yeah. There's plastic trash. There is other trash. That's crafting resources. Recipe lockpick. Nice. 
That is a good recipe to have in a game like this. Even though I don't actually have a lockpicking skill. It's good to know that lockpicking is a useful skill. Wonder Shroom. Okay, that's in my resources. Memorabilia. Five experience points. Consume? Yeah, why not? Mats. Okay. So it's just the top left of the map I have to explore. Wait, is this it? I was thinking there was something else in here. Or if, like, I, I was thinking that this was the way to progress, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. Although, getting the ability to craft items is actually pretty important too, so. 